Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to start a brand new topic of this unit that is isoperimetric problems. These problems seek to optimize the functional of the form like this where, where the extremal that the extremal of this functional that is y satisfies the boundary conditions. These boundary conditions would be helpful in getting the arbitrary constant and under the condition that the isoperimetric constraint this must be satisfied. So in order to get the extremal of this one subject to this condition 2 we are going to formulate a new functional which is capital F is equal to F plus lambda G where what is this F? This F is in equation 1, this g is in equation 2 and what is this lambda? This lambda is the Lagrange multiplier and the method that we are adopting in order to get the solution of this isoperimetric problem, this method is known as the Lagrange's multiplier method. Okay, so to make the idea more clear, let us uh, see what would be the working rule for problem solving okay so the very first thing that you have to do here is this working rule So let me write here the steps. The very first step that you need to do here is write down F and G. Write down F and G. Okay. This would be in equation 1. This would be in the constraint, isoperimetric constraint. And, and form and form f is equal to f plus lambda g don't forget to write where lambda is a parameter and it is called as lagrange lagrange's multiplier okay once you have formed this capital f the very second thing that you need to do is write Euler's equation write Euler's equation for f for f that is del f by del y minus ddx of del f by del y dash is equal to 0. So once you have formulated capital F, then you have to write down the Euler's equation. Euler's equation for this F. The third step is solve the above Euler equation solve the above Euler's equation Euler's equation to get to get y is equal to y of x say this is to be equation a next step apply boundary conditions apply boundary conditions of course these boundary conditions would be given to you I am writing in bracket apply boundary condition to get to get the values of to 
a d values of arbitrary constants in y is equal to y of x so step number 4 you have to apply the given boundary condition uh, to get the values of arbitrary constants in y is equal to y x and what would be the next step you have to substitute there okay that is one thing the fifth step says use parametric constraint use parametric constraints use parametric constraint to get to get the value of to get the value of lagrange multiplier to get the value of lagrange multiplier lambda and once you get arbitrary constant and this lambda that is lagrange multiplier at last you have to just put these values put these values of arbitrary constants arbitrary constants and lambda in equation a in equation a to get to get the required to get the required extremal to get the required extremal of the given functional of the given functional satisfying the boundary condition and under the condition of the isoparametric constraint okay so these are the six steps that we have in this uh, working rule so i would like you to remember these steps so the very first thing that you need to do is uh, is first of all write down f and g okay and with the help of that you just formulate capital f that is f plus lambda g that is your first step okay once you have just done it write down the euler's equation for this capital f and solve this euler equation when you solve this euler equation you will be getting some function y of x some y is equal to some function of x uh, and in that function there would be some constants okay and the value of those constant can be found out with the help of boundary condition so whatever may be the boundary condition given to you you just make use of those boundary condition okay and try to get the values of arbitrary constant then what next you have to do then you have to make use of the isoparametric constraint okay it will be given like isoparametric constraint and uh, substitute y of x in the isoparametric constraint uh, and try to get the value of lagrange multiplier that is lambda and at last you have lambda you got a and b substitute all those equation in a to get the required extremal for the given functional one set uh, subject to uh, another uh, subject to another uh, functional that is the isoparametric constraint uh, which we denoted by equation number 2 okay so i hope uh, this uh, working rule is clear to you uh, these working rules are uh, nothing but a pathway for you uh, because sometime in the examination you won't get some time so if you can just look at this you can be uh, solve the problem to some extent okay so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day thank you